It all began with a dream. I was at this conference and the lead minister was introducing all the pastors there. And when it was my turn, he said, this is Pastor Henry. And his church is 40,000 members. And I leaned over to him and I whispered in his ears and I said, no, it's not 40,000, it's 40. And he said, Pastor Henry's church is 40,000 members. And again, I said to him, no, it's not 40,000, it's 40. And he sort of tugged me and pushed me aside and said, I know what I'm saying. This is Pastor Henry and his church is 40,000 members. I woke out of the dream and I was wondering what this could ever mean until I went to a conference for real right here in Toronto and the visiting speaker was from the United States. I was just in time when they were about to introduce the speaker. And after the speaker was through speaking, he came over to me and he told me everything that was in the dream. He did not know me, I did not know him, I did not even know his name until afterwards. You have a dream while you're sleeping and then somebody who you don't know and somebody who don't know you walk out and tell you that God says you are to build a 40,000 member church in Toronto of all places. Took me a long while, maybe about six months or so to break it to the church. Surprisingly, many of the people believed. I just did not know what a 40,000 member church would look like. What would we do? We went through some tough times. We lost members. We bought a unit here in Toronto and we were kicked out because we did not have a permit and we had to sell the building and we ended up renting another church and we went in after their service which was in the afternoon it was so difficult and I was wondering in my heart Lord if this church of 40 people gonna become 40,000 I, I need a 40,000 vision until finally one day the Lord spoke to me and said build me the church I commanded you and I was saying but Lord how can I build a church in a city like Toronto. How do I convince them that you spoke to me? And the Lord said to me, they are already convinced. You need to be convinced. You need to tell them. After that, that I really started seeing the vision of it. I started seeing pictures of having sports teams, having the children involved in sporting activities. I started a track and field club in the church. We started an after church basketball program and it started coming. When God spoke to me, I had to challenge myself and I'm asking you to challenge yourself it takes heart it takes courage it takes faith but challenge yourself and join me in building this great ministry right here in the city of Toronto